Hello everyone, this is Dan with Arcade Funkade. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a little machine that we finished up. Uh, it's a Golden T99. Uh, it was a simple, simple repair. Uh, we had a bad monitor on this fella. It was a 25-inch 25, 25 uh, monitor on the Golden T. We have a lot of Golden T monitors going out, and it just seems to be something that just it just happens. I mean, they're, they're uh, big monitors that take a lot of power, and uh, they're very. it's a very popular game. So it's one of those things that, uh, that we tend to find ourselves, uh, one of these machines that we tend to, tend to find ourselves uh, repairing quite often. Uh, one of the biggest issues is the trackball. Um, so much crap gets, gets inside of the trackball that we have to blow them out, clean them out. There's sometimes just, they're just full of uh, dust mites and uh, just, just crumbs. <laughs> you can actually see some of the like sand and crap stuck between the plastic and the... Uh, yeah, well, well uh, underneath the plexiglass, the protective plexiglass. So, yeah, so that's it's um it's kind of crazy at times. So this guy, th this one's kind of beat up. This machine's um it's not that bad of a machine. It's a four-player machine. Obviously, all the golden tees were. Um, golden T99. It's always a good good game. Um, this guy body, it's been it's seen better days. But again, all the, these guys just wanted it to work. And the main idea of this this video is to be able to show you guys how to and what to do so you pretty much just need a 24 inch screen that has a vga computer in and uh, apart from that that's pretty much it so i'm going to show you guys the back side of this fella first let's kill off this other game i have back here so yeah the body's in in terrible shape but again we could sand it down and give it a good paint job now that we know it works so that that was pretty important so what we did was just put a, just just put a cross member across the back we took off the old monitor, uh, all the wiring and all. And again, this is a very, uh, we just just finished the wiring, so we, so we still gotta vacuum out, clean this thing out, uh, zip tie all the wiring. But now that everything's still loose, it's still really awesome to be able to show you guys how all this stuff works. So this guy, the, the old school arcades that didn't have a hard drive, uh, even the ones that do have a hard drive, they're, um, they, have, they have a little, a little box that connects into the back side of the monitor. And what we do, is it has a little, little connection and it has a red white and blue whoop, red white and blue and a black wire so you have a white and black usually it's a spotted white and black wire like this guy here and we connect that guy to the ground so red goes to red blue to blue green to green and we have a black ground wire going from the tv end from the arcade end to the monitor and we have this white wire here that's a service wire. So depending on, on your arcade, whether it has the uh, that set up or not, um, that's the way you want to hook it up. And what you want to do, I've used so many of these converters, and the whole idea uh, is that we found that the best converter is along this edge here. It's the RGB. And all you got to do, again, is connect these guys uh, red to red, green to green, blue to blue, black to black, and the white service wire goes at the end. Uh, it, even show, it even shows it here on the, uh, on the game board itself, so you can't really screw that up. RGB ground and it shows a little S for service, so it's fairly simple. And uh, the, these converter boards work for a couple different things. So if you want to use a composite uh, component wiring, you could use that too, or VGA to VGA. Sometimes you could upgrade and and or use the make use of the display geometry. Uh, you you can size up and change color and sharpness and contrast and brightness with that uh, display there. So that's kind of cool. And, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple connection. All you got to do is just connect it up to a, a five volt or a twelve volt connection. We went ahead and, and just connected this guy up to a five volt that was coming out of the power supply that was giving the uh, PCB board power. So it was very simple. So now what you do is you hook, hook this guy up from the from the original monitor. It connects to here to the top end. And what we do then is we take out the VGA cord, and that guy just simply connects to the back of your computer monitor. So it just goes into the computer monitor. You have a power supply. Power wire that connects into whatever power wire you want. Sometimes you have to have an extra controller, uh, or I'm sorry, an extra power strip or something you can put in here. And or you could just, just wire over, uh, just kind of make your own little contact and harness to connect it in. This one just so happened to have an outlet in the side of the box. So some of these boxes are pretty cool. They're the, the original Suzu HAP power supply, so they're pretty nice. They do have that little uh, connection. The original monitor had that, so that was pretty awesome to take that off. And this guy is really stripped down. All the wiring from the uh, coin doors are gone, volume knob, all that stuff. I guess they only left the important stuff like the service menu. And uh, that was about it. But, yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. And, uh, again, this is a Golden Tea. 